Okay, so today we're going to talk about uh, Beck's triad. Um, the concept was developed by Claude Beck, a resident and late, later professor of uh, cardiovascular surgery at Case Western's Reserved University. Um, Beck's triad is a sign, uh, sign of a uh, cardiac tamponade. So cardiac tamponade also known as uh, pericardial tamponade, is an acute type of pericardial effusions in which fluid, pus, blood, clots, or gas accumulates in the pericardium. Um, the pericardium, which is a sac right here, the pericardium, It's the sac in which the heart is enclosed, resulting in a slow and rapid compression of the heart. So if um, those fluids, um, pus, blood accumulates in this sac that enclosing the heart, it exerts a pressure on the heart and it compresses the heart. So the treatments for um, cardiac uh, tamponade is uh, pericardiosynthesis. So it is uh, a procedure where fluids, right here, where uh, fluid is aspirated from the pericardium. Stick the needle in here, try to aspirate the fluids out to uh, decompress the heart. So the triad, it's basically there are uh, three medical uh, signs um, uh, that are associated with cardiac tamponade. Um, so these signs are uh, hypotension. So hypotension is a low arterial blood pressure. So the fall in the arterial blood pressure results from pericardial fluid accumulations, increases the pressure outside of the heart, as you can see right here, increases the pressure outside of the heart, and that limits the maximum size the ventricle can stretch to. So because there's um, an increased pressure here, the left ventricle won't be able to expand as it normally would because of the external pressure exerted by the fluids that accumulates in the pericardium. So now the, uh, the left ventricle is kind of uh, compressed and um, so that way it limits the diet, uh, diastolic expansion so the feeling of um, the feeling of the left ventricle resulting in a lower uh, end diastolic volume which will reduce the stroke volume so because um, because we have like because we have uh, less of the end diastolic volume, the feeling, uh, feeling volume of the left ventricle is uh, decreased because of the pressure exerted on the heart by the uh, fluids uh, that accumulates in the pericardium. Um, there would be less of the stroke volume. Stroke volume would be decreased and um, decrease in stroke volume lead to a decrease in cardiac output. If we have a lower cardiac output, um, the amount of uh, blood uh, go out into the body, then we have a decrease in uh, uh, pressure and that leads to hypotension. So the second sign uh, we're going to talk about is the uh, jugular venous distensions. So jugular dis uh, venous distension is just the distensions of the neck veins. The jugular veins in the neck is um, is distended. 
So it is the rising of the Venus pressure that is evidenced by the distended jugular uh, veins while the patient is in a non supine position. So it causes so it is caused by the reduced diastolic feeling of the right ventricle due to the pressure from the adjacent expanding pericardial sac. So when the um, uh, when the pressure from the uh, accumulated blood in the pericardium exerted on the right ventricle here and uh, that decreased in the diastolic feeling uh, of the right ventricle. Uh, the right ventricle uh, receives blood from the superior and the uh, superior and inferior vena cava uh, and the superior vena cava drains blood from the jugular venous uh, vein, jugular venous veins, the, the, the neck veins that we see, and it is most prominent when there, uh, when there is less of the, when there is a decrease in the feeling of the right ventricle here because of the pressure exerted by, um, exerted by the, um, uh, the fluids accumulate in the pericardial sac, uh, then we have a backup of fluids, then we have uh, a backup of fluids uh, into the uh, superior and inferior vena cava, and that go, um, and that back up into the uh, 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 jugular venous veins, uh, because it's, it's uh, the Jugular venous veins is on the neck and it's more superficial. We see it more prominent, and that is the reasons why we see the jugular venous distensions. The third sign is the muffle, uh, distance muffle heart sounds. Why do we uh, uh, hear a distance muffle heart sounds in the the cardiac tam tamponade, one of the back stride? It's because um, those fluids, the uh, fluids that are filling, like blood and uh, what other fluids that's filling the uh, uh, pericardial sac here, uh, that's surrounding the heart, because the heart sounds um, would have to travel through this uh, layers of fluids here then we will hear it as distance comparing to how we how it how we normally hear it um, and it's muffled because it has to travel through the um, that layer of fluids right there